when you think of Subnautica, one of the first things that comes to mind is maybe the Reaper Leviathan, the Sea Emperor Leviathan, or maybe even something as small as the Peeper. I mean, after all, the Reaper Leviathan is arguably the most iconic and well-known species in the entire game. However, if you think that a Reaper is dangerous, well, I have a surprise for you. When it comes to danger, the Reaper pales in comparison to what we will be going over today. That's right, today I will be giving everyone a brief overview of the hopefully extinct Gargantuan Leviathan, coming in at 1,300 meters long, completely dwarfing both the Sea Emperor and the Sea Dragon Leviathans combined. It is so big, in fact, that the entire Cyclops can fit within its mouth. The Gargantuan Leviathan was an eel-like Leviathan-class super predator that dominated the food chain of the crater approximately 3 million plus years ago. The skull takes on the appearance of a large crocodilian snout, as well as two horn-like protrusions on the top of its head. Its mouth is full of sharp, pointy teeth with four larger ones at the tip of the mouth, two being on the bottom jaw and two being on the top of the mouth. The smaller ones are a little bit bigger than the player model. There are three of these skeletons that can be found in the Lost River, one being an adult and the other two being juveniles. Based off the size of the species, we can assume that they didn't mate too often as too many of these types of creatures in the ecosystem would practically destroy it as they would need to take in massive amounts of food just in order to survive, which is why they probably died out long ago or they just evolved the way into the creatures that we see today. Seeing as it would be extremely difficult to live anywhere that's not in the crater, where most of the life on the planet is located, because of their size, meaning that they would probably have to migrate from area to area once they cleaned out one spot's worth of food. Based on their size, we can assume that they mostly ate other Leviathan-class organisms, or even their own kind when they got desperate. When we scan the skeleton, the database entry tells us that the skeleton of the Gargantuan Leviathan now supports a quote-unquote vibrant microcosm of life, which makes sense seeing as it has plants and animals growing either on it or around it. Now, the skeleton that we see ourselves is only around 400 meters long, so you may be asking, why did you say that it was 1,300 meters long? Well, the answer to that question is we are only seeing the front third of the specimen, at least according to the databank entry. Now, it's time for everybody's favorite part of the video, fun facts. The size of the species would have made it impossible for the Gargantuan Leviathan to enter the Lost River and die, meaning that the bones have not always rested in that spot. There are several angular indentations on the skeleton, telling us that the precursors likely took bone samples from the skeleton to either study or experiment with. Lastly, because of how old the bones are, we don't really know too much about the Leviathan's true body structure, since, like the ancient skeleton, we can only see its bones. However, a popular YouTuber by the name of Anthomnia, with the help of another artist I do not remember the name of, created a very detailed piece of fan art hinting at what the Leviathan would have looked like. In fact, a recent developer by the name of Violet Mango started a team with two other people and created a mod that adds the Gargantuan Leviathan into the game with the model being based off the fan art made by Anthomnia. However, the mod is not quite finished, so things like the AI and the texture are not perfect. Which makes sense, because, you know, the texture of it is kind of like, it's like black and it's very rubbery. And then the AI of the Gargantuan Leviathan mod, it's kind of, like, the thing is kind of stupid. It likes to get tangled up in itself because of how big it is. So, like, you know, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a big scary skeleton when it can't even move its jaws to eat you. But, that's just my opinion, and the developer said that they are going to be working on fixing all the problems with it right now. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do me a favor and like and subscribe right now. That would help me out a great deal. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.